Welcome to your first flipped video uh, for Miss Dudex class. Yay! You should be proud of yourself. Um, okay, so this first one is on lab safety. It will be very, very short, um, but you should be completing that SpongeBob activity in front of you, um, so that way you can get that done and turn it in tomorrow. Okay, so your vocabulary um, for lab safety. The first one is goggles. The second one is wafting, and the third one is combustible. Now, wafting is what is shown in this picture over here, which is there is a chemical, and he is not actually sniffing the chemical directly. He's actually wafting with his hands, um, so that way he can get a smell of it. So if you want to practice it right now, you simply just, you know, put your nose over something, and then you waft it with your hand. Combustible is something that can blow up, so that's what this is over here, and of course, you know, these are goggles. Okay. Lab safety. The most important rule is read all directions first, listen to the teacher's directions, and then ask the teacher if you're unsure. Ask your questions after you've read the directions. If you ask me a question, the first thing I'm going to ask you is, did you read the directions? Because most likely the um, question that you're asking has already been addressed in the directions. Um, your lab behavior is part of a lab grade. We went over this when we got those lab contracts signed. Make sure you get that turned in by tomorrow. Um, and also clean up. Some lab safety rules, do not touch any equipment, supplies, or other materials without permission from your teacher. Never taste, touch, or smell chemicals unless you are told to do so. And if there is an accident, fire, gas break, cut, etc., tell your teacher first thing. Don't wait 10 minutes down the road and say, oh yeah, I forgot, there's glass all over the floor, okay? Make sure you tell them exactly right when it happens. Um, also known the location of a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher. The first aid kit is at my desk and the fire extinguisher is under the sink in the front of the classroom. And of course you already know this, no horseplay. No, 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 no horseplay. Um, a couple more. Keep your hands away from your face, eyes, and mouth until you are able to wash your hands after the experiment. You might not think that it's dangerous stuff. Um, but the littlest thing that can get in your eye can scratch your eye and it won't be very good. Um, assume all chemicals are dangerous. So even though it might just be um, table salt or something like that, you always need to wash your hands. Um, wear safety goggles when instructed to do so. Keep your workspace clean and neat. Any spills that occur, you need to let a teacher know and clean it up immediately. Follow proper disposal procedures for all chemicals. Many cannot be poured down the sink, so make sure you ask before you start pouring things down the sink um, because it can mess up the pipelines and the sewer in the school, so make sure you ask. Um, you need to ask yourself, is the proper safety procedures being followed? Gina is thirsty. She rinses a beaker with water, refills it with water, and takes a drink. Hmm. Probably not. Bram pours a small amount of CHI acid into a beaker after putting on his goggles. All right, and it is rather warm today, so Anna slips her shoes off and walks barefoot to the sink. I don't think so. Okay, so there's a little bit more. While washing glassware, Mike splashes some water on Evan. To get even, Evan splashes him back. I don't think so. During an experiment, Lindsay decides to mix two chemicals that the lab procedure does not say to mix because she is curious about what will happen. Yeah, I'm going to say that's probably not a good thing either. After sitting on a hot plate for 10 minutes, Casey picks up the beaker with her bare hands. Um, yep, Casey is definitely going to get burned. Probably not a good thing. And how do you think you handle hot objects? Well, you don't touch them. Um, a practice question. Zach accidentally dropped a beaker in the lab. The glass shattered and the liquid first, um, or I'm sorry, it covered a large area on the floor. What is the first step Zach should take? Should he carefully clean up the glass, carefully clean up the liquid, get another beaker to start over, or tell his teacher that an accident happened in the lab? What well, you should be thinking to yourself, definitely tell his teacher that an accident happened in the lab. All right, so that is it. Make sure you get your SpongeBob activity done and you turn that in tomorrow. And of course, your lab safety contract. Have a great evening.